joined live now by Katerina Politi, who has devoted herself to saving lives since the death of her son David in 2012. Katerina, thank you very much for your time. You're the fight to stop one-punch attacks is being beamed across the city. The campaign is hitting billboards and social media to send the message to offenders to stop because one punch can kill. Yesterday, a grieving mother sat down with the Victorian Attorney General Jill Hennessy in a private meeting. It's about the what's called one punch or coward punch laws. It's a really fantastic thing just to send that message that that one act, a split second, can end a life, can change your life, can you know, lead to some very tragic outcomes. Billboards will be popping up all over Melbourne, delivering an incredibly strong message. Behind the campaign, a woman who knows the pain all too well of losing a son to a callous one-punch attack. Katerina Politi lost her son David on New Year's Eve in 2012. In the lead up to the footy finals, a mother of coward punch victim is launching a new One Punch Can Kill campaign. It comes a day after Katerina Politi met with Victoria's Attorney General, appealing for the legislation to be tightened. We want to ensure that those technicalities um, are removed and if, if it's proved that the punch killed the person, to me, that would suffice. The campaign hopes to prevent street and social violence.